Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to show you the seven most effective table tennis serves. Now, these are serves which are used by a lot of good players, top amateurs all the way up to the pro players. So these are the sort of serves you want to try and get into your game. Now, the demonstration and the tips in this video come from Coach Ferenc Horvat from Paragon Table Tennis. Ferenc has a very clean service action. Great use of the wrist and body and very efficient. There's no wasted movement. So, if you want to improve your serves or develop some new serves, this is the video for you. Let me pass you over to Ferenc. forehand pendulum serve. I take my position around the corner. I open my feet for a comfortable balanced uh, stance. I keep my bat and uh, the ball close to each other so I can be assured that the contact is more accurate. I also keep both closer to my body so I don't need to reach out and use my entire arm. The action is the combination of the wrist and the forearm and a little bit of body rotation. This body rotation will be used to set the next shot up. Before I start using my wrist, I start moving the bat with my forearm, so with that wrist delay, I create a whip-like action and I swipe the bat across my body towards my left shoulder area. As I rotate the body as well, I create a, uh, the combination of rot body rotation and wrist action. The reverse pendulum has, as well, a close contact to the body. I need to make sure that my grip is supporting a relaxed free position since I need to take my wrist to, uh, back towards my armpit to be able to release it forward and downwards. The action is also the combination of the forearm and the wrist. This time, I feel I need to exaggerate my wrist action a bit more since my body rotation is less helpful on the action itself. So I do an extended wrist action. I over pull my wrist to maximize the spin's efficiency. Sometimes it's helpful to change the grip slightly. Many players, they have the entire backhand side uh, covered with fingers, so it gives maximum uh, bandness to the wrist. The handle can come over the wrist position, so you can release the, the bat with a more forceful uh, power.
The backspin action is a little leap of faith. We need to go much more underneath the ball. So the more you go on, on the bottom, or sometimes even the far side, the more backspin you generate. We have the bat and the ball close to each other. Also, the elbow is relatively close to the body, next to them. So as I whip my wrist and I rotate my forearm in front of the body, I follow it with my upper body's rotation, and then all together I create enough momentum to the serve. My wrist action, when I feel I'm brushing the ball through, is hooking the action upwards a little bit. Since this action would send the ball upwards, I compensate with my body rotation. My no-spin uh, no action is the most useful if it looks similar to the backspin action. The only difference is that instead of the wrist's whip action, I'm going to rotate my forearm. So I, on purpose, open the bat angle slightly, creating a hit on the ball. And then, as I move the bat forward, I rotate my forearm. This rotation, after the ball's left, has no real effect on the shot, on the serve itself, but it creates a disguise, uh, an imitation of a backspin. Since it's happening later than the ball contact, it makes no difference. So open the bat slightly, or I would say close, and then rotate your wrist on the, on the contact. To keep this serve short, I try to use my upper body to limit the power. If I whip my arm too fast, this serve would end up being long and probably it's easier to be attacked. So I keep serving this short by slowly rotating the body during the execution. The key for a good hook serve is a tilted bat angle. This time I let the forehand side face me as if I'm looking into a mirror. This way I get a contact on the far side of the ball and then I need to be sure that the entire action is happening on that side. The direction of the bat can uh, vary the spin but as long as I keep this uh, bat angle intact I can always create the far side top spin, the jab top sp uh, side spin, which is curving away from the right-handed opponents. So position is tilted, wrist flick, body rotation on the far side, and the combination is creating a nice curve.
In this one, still, I don't want to add too much forearm action because it might drag the ball too far and then the opponent can attack it. So I prefer using my wrist and my body rotation. It's a little bit more disguised this way and I can make sure that the serves are shorter. Wrist, upper body. This time, for the tomahawk serve, we change the position slightly. We prefer facing the opponents. The tomahawk is, again, the, the far side on the ball. So we need to try to create a contact point relatively close to the table. A little extra lower position is uh, strongly advised. And then, depending on your angle, you can create side backspin, side spin, or side top spin. We need to withdraw the wrist towards our right shoulder and release it towards the opponent or any direction you want to aim the serve to. The key is that the elbow wrist is very fast on the contact and then the more forearm you use, the faster the serve gets. The popular backhand serves. The side spin is one of the most useful ones since it's curving the ball away from the right-handed opponents, short to the forehand, short action to make sure that the serve is short. The elbow is not used that heavily. We try to drag and pull the ball towards your right side. If you have a cross arm start position, then your bat, you, as you can see, it's already somewhat behind and on the left side of the ball. So as the ball falls down with the right side swing from your elbow wrist, you create a nice spinny touch on the ball. Some players serve it that way, that they flick the wrist across. That's also a possibility. For that, you need a somewhat higher elbow position. But the wrist action creates the same effect. Wow, a lot of detail in this video. It would be a good one to bookmark and keep coming back to. A huge thanks to Ferenc for demonstrating those seven serves. Um, if you want to find out more about Ferenc and Paragon Table Tennis, then go to the website paragontabletennis.com.
www.ghostbusinessmanagement.co.uk. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other video tutorials. See you all again soon. Bye bye.